So I remember when there was a sort of Web 2.0 movement where people were like, wow, we can make websites interactive and more engaging and more like applications in and of themselves. But then, of course, there was the mobile paradigm where all of a sudden people had these computers in their pockets. So those definitely stand out. And yeah, this feels like one of those kind of transcendent moments. My name is Max Johnson. I'm a software engineer here at OpenAI, working on ChatGPT Codex. This, this is a special launch. I've never actually worked on a product that I felt as connected with as this one, because I use it every day. It's solving a very real problem that I have in my work. When I'm working day to day, I'm constantly seeing problems with the code, little paper cuts, things that don't meet best practices, or maybe they're little bugs that maybe they matter, maybe they don't really matter, but may bite someone in the butt later on, you know, if we're not paying attention. And if I, if I go down and try to solve all these problems myself in the moment, I would just never build anything new, right? Nothing would get done. With Codex, what's really cool is when I see these paper cuts, when I see these little problems, I don't have to break my attention. I can fire them off into Codex and come back to them in a, you know, 30 minutes or an hour when it's done. And slowly over time, the quality of the code base goes up without any real additional investment of my attention and my time. And let me show you an example. So recently I was working on a piece of our code, which is sort of a testing harness for our backend. And I noticed the code had a few problems where I felt, you know, could be better. But I don't know if they really rise to the level of me interrupting my main work, starting a new branch, a new PR, just to fix these things. So instead, I'll just fire them off into Codex. I see that there's a retry strategy here, but it looks like part of the logic was deleted as part of a refactor, which is unfortunate, but common. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over to Codex, and I'll just say, in this file, it looks like there was a regression in the request JSON method retry implementation. I'll just say, review the behavior from before the problem was introduced, and then reintroduce that behavior and fix the bug. There's so much to build, and these little chores sometimes feel like they're standing in the way of the, more, the most important and impactful work that we could be doing. And so being able to hand them off to a model is super empowering. I've never felt more engaged or excited to be an engineer than I do right now.